Welcome to TPM Vids. Canada's Wonderland is a Cedar Fair owned theme park located in Vaughan, Ontario, just north of Toronto. Being the largest theme park in Canada, it's home to over 80 attractions, including 16 roller coasters, ranking it the third park in the world with the most coasters. Although the park is well known for its B&M roller coasters Leviathan and Behemoth, Canada's Wonderland has accumulated quite the collection of flat rides over the years, even some that are unique to the park and North America. So today, we'll be counting down the top 10 best flat rides at Cedar Fair's Canada's Wonderland. Starting our list off at number 10 is Spinovator. Formerly named Quixote's Kettles, it was one of the original 26 rides that opened with the park in 1981. Each ride pod used to have handles, making them oversized buckets. The ride is pretty straightforward, and as the name suggests, you're spinning. Think of the teacups at Disney, but crank the intensity up just a notch. The raked incline platform definitely intensifies the whip feeling you get when you ride. It's considered a family ride, but it's definitely a mild thrill and a great way to start your day off at Canada's Wonderland. Coming in at number 9, we have Windseeker. It opened at Canada's Wonderland in May of 2011 and towers 301 feet over the park. Now, Canada's Wonderland is not the only home of Windseeker. Five other Cedar Fair parks received the ride between 2011 and 2012, including Cedar Point and King's Dominion but Canada's Wonderland did open theirs first. This ride isn't so much thrilling aside from the fact that you're spinning 301 feet in the air. With a three minute ride time, it gives riders a great bird's eye view of the entire park. But if you have a fear of heights, this ride might not be for you. Next on our list at number eight is the newest flat ride at the park, Soarin' Timbers, which opened May of 2017. Although the ride is new for Canada's Wonderland, it was a used Mondial Inferno that was brought over from Europe. The ride's main shaft is angled and sweeps riders around on two rotating gondolas. The one downside is that because this ride did come from Europe, the seats are a bit tighter than other rides at the park. And it does take a while to do seat checks due to the row design of the gondolas. With a very short ride cycle and a long low time, it doesn't quite reach the thrill that similar rides like Riptide and Shockwave provide, but we'll get to those in just a minute. At number 7, we have Riptide. This ride opened in August of 2000 under the name Cliffhanger, while Canada's Wonderland was still a Paramount operated park. Once Cedar Fair took over, the name was changed in 2008. Now, Riptide is a great ride for a hot summer day because you will get wet. But don't worry, during the cooler days and months, the water won't actually splash you. The fountains shoot up but quickly go down before the gondola reaches the water. While rotating 360 degrees with the anticipation of getting wet, it makes for a fairly thrilling and enjoyable cooling experience. Coming in at number 6 is Nightmares. This Huss UFO ride also opened at Canada's Wonderland as one of the original 26 attractions in 1981. Although it resembles one of those classic parking lot carnival rides, it definitely gives riders a thrilling experience. Riders stand in one of 12 carriages with no seatbelt or restraint to hold you in place. Only the cage bars itself secure riders in the vehicle. After reaching full speed in about 16 seconds, gravity will keep you in place even when the ride is in the 90 degree tilt. There's very few UFOs still in operation today, and Nightmares is one of them. What goes up must come down. And coming in at number 5, we have Drop Tower. Towering 230 feet over the park, Drop Tower drops riders 200 feet reaching speeds of about 62 miles per hour. The ride opened in May of 1997 under the name Drop Zone Stunt Tower, while Canada's Wonderland was operating as a Paramount Park. Once Cedar Fair took over, it was then changed to Drop Tower Scream Zone in 2008. Originally, the tower was painted in rainbow colors and themed with racetrack decals, signifying that riders were stunt actors about to film the final stunt scene of a movie. Since the park takeover, some theming has been removed, and the backstory is no longer the case. But the ride operation and experience has not changed at all 
and it's still a great free fall attraction. At number four, we have Skyhawk. The first ride of its kind in North America and fourth in the entire world, Skyhawk opened in May of 2016. With its unique design, it's definitely a great addition to the collection of flats at Canada's Wonderland. Skyhawk takes riders 134 feet up in the air and lets them pilot their own seats, allowing them to rotate the seat 360 degrees. This can be achieved by maneuvering the flaps to the right and left of the seat, and if riders have good wind that day, they can get quite a few rotations in. Now, if you've been on Skyhawk before, how many rotations did you get? Leave a comment below. Next at number three, we have Cyclone. It opened in May of 2002 in the Action Zone at Canada's Wonderland. Riders are seated facing outward and rotate on a central pendulum while they swing to a height of 120 feet. Depending on where riders sit, it does change the experience slightly in regards to the amount of airtime they get as the swing reaches its maximum angle. The full ride cycle is about 1 minute and 58 seconds, and considering the airtime riders feel, it's quite a thrilling pendulum swing ride. Taking the number 2 spot on our list is Shockwave. With an opening in May of 2001, Shockwave took over the original location of Clockworks, which can be seen right here. Riders sit in one of six free rotating gondolas. While the arm rotates multiple times and switches direction, you spin in every direction possible. And we mean it. It has a ride time of about 2 minutes and 55 seconds, which is one of the longer ride times in Wonderland's flat collection. You're sure to have a crazy ride experience on this one, which is why it takes the number two spot on our list. And the number one flat ride at Canada's Wonderland, Sledgehammer. This is the world's first and only giant jumping machine of its kind, which opened in May of 2003. Sledgehammer brings riders in their claw vehicles through a series of jumps and freefalls that are sure to thrill. Now the ride has faced many mechanical maintenance issues over the years, which caused it to not operate for a good part of some seasons. Since those issues have now been resolved for a few years, you can almost guarantee the ride will be open on your visit. Given the ride's uniqueness, thrill, and current accountability of its operation, it has taken the spot at number one. So, if you've ever been to Canada's Wonderland, what's your favorite flat ride at the park? Or, if you've never been, which rides would you want to ride? Leave a comment below! Thanks so much for watching! Click the TPM icon on the screen to subscribe to this channel and check out some of these other videos which we're sure you'll like!